I can't hold it back no more. All right, we're going to be talking about counting the games played between N teams. Imagine that you have five teams called one through five. And each team plays the other team once. We want to know how many games are scheduled. So notice that team one can play teams two, three, four, and five exactly once, giving you four games. Now we're done with team one, so we move on to team number two. Team number two can also play teams three, four, and five, giving us an additional three games. Now we're done with team two. Continuing on in a similar fashion, team three can play teams four and five, an additional two games. Now we have nine games that have been played. Our last team, team four, can only play team five for one more game, giving us a grand total of 10 games. So five teams can play 10 total games among each other. Also note, this is a combination. We have five teams and we are choosing all groupings of two. So the number of combinations is five choose two, which equals two, 10. Another interesting thing to notice is the arithmetic sum. The number of games played between five teams is 10 and that's one plus two plus three plus four. If there were seven teams, you would add one plus two plus three all the way to six, and that would give you 21. And seven choose two is also 21. So that's an amazing thing to notice, the arithmetic sum. Now let's say there are seven teams, one through seven. Starting from these seven teams, let's say that team one is undefeated. So they beat teams two through seven. And team two is also good, they beat teams three through seven. If we wanted to know how many games will be won between teams three through seven, we would first take out teams one and two. Note that there are now five teams and the number of games that can be won among these teams is the same as the number of games that can be played, since every game played will have a victor. So the number of wins among the five remaining teams is five choose two, which is 10. Thanks for watching. And remember, Mathematics is beautiful.